Scarlet Rot is a status effect in Elden Ring that does a lot of damage over time. So I'm going to beat the game when my character always has Scarlet Rot. But I also didn't just want to over level the challenge. So I made another rule that I couldn't proceed to the next area without first defeating the Remembrance boss of the current area. For example, I couldn't go to Liurnia without first defeating Godric the Grafted. And for the sake of variety, I change weapon after every Remembrance boss that I beat. This channel is almost at a hundred thousand subscribers, so if you've been enjoying the videos and want to stay up to date on when new ones are released, go down below and hit that subscribe button. It is kind of hard to say no to Samurai though, isn't it? Samurai is kind of too good. Is that how you spell Heisenberg? I think so. Age. He's old as fuck. Keepsake. Golden Seed. I mean, I don't know. That 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 might as well be Walter White. All right, bro. Jesse, we need to cook. There we go. All set up. Ready to go. Start the timer. And now we just have to make our way. This might be an issue. Does the samurai have less vigor? Add a death. I'm sprinting. What do you want me to do? You want me to stop to add the fucking death? All right, we made it. To start this run out, I maxed out my red flasks. That way I could survive as long as possible. I then went to go gather up the flail, which I'll be using a little bit later in the run. I grabbed the mixed physic along the way. Picked up the charged attack tier and the charged attack talisman from the Mistwood. Then I went to go get the first Dectus medallion from Fort Heights. And then finally I went to go get the first weapon that I'll use. The Banished Knight's Halberd, which drops at a default plus eight. Which is obviously nice because I don't have to go get all the upgrade mats for it. Then I went to go pick up the turtle shield just to get a little bit of free stamina regeneration. And while I was doing all this, I picked up five golden seeds and four secret tiers along the way as I was going through Limgrave, the Weeping Peninsula, and Siafa River. Finally, I went back to the Weeping Peninsula and got my first talisman from the Everjail. Now, we're off to Stormvale. Okay, let's go beat his ass. Spin to win, baby! I shouldn't have put these <laughs> <conditions to rest. laughs> Whoopsie. There it is. Okay, we're gonna go for four hits on that move. Four hits, that's what we get. Oh, R1. I'm so shit. Shouldn't have gone for that many. I'm just going for it. There we go, baby. Before we continue, I want to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Project Orochi. They're a streetwear brand that focuses on Japanese mythology and culture. They also have a whole lot of designs that are inspired by video games, Elden Ring included. We can see the Academia design, which is inspired by Rhea Lucaria, the Dark Moon design, which is inspired by Ronnie and her four hands, and the Grace design, which shows Merica getting hung up on the Elden Ring. But if you're looking for designs that aren't inspired by video games, Project Orochi also has that as well. You can see that in the Ryu design with this Japanese style dragon, the Tora design with a tiger in the Japanese rising sun, and the fisherman design, which is obviously inspired by the famous painting, The Great Wave off Kanagawa. I'm a really big fan of this Aramusha design though. It just looks so clean and I would definitely love wearing this hoodie. Project Orochi has been absolutely amazing to work with. I love what they're doing over there. So for real, show these guys some love. Check out projectorochi.com slash bushy. And if you use my discount code maidenless at checkout, it will get you 10% off your order and there's free shipping inside North America. And finally, to stay up to date on their new designs, follow their Instagram at instagram.com slash projectorochi. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. Wait, I'm dead. Look at my health. <laughs> nice. <sighs> After beating Margit, I had access to all of Stormvale Castle, which let me go grab the jump attack talisman, as well as a golden seed. There is technically a second golden seed at the very bottom of the castle, but it's protected by an ulcerated tree spirit, and even I'm not stupid enough to go try to kill one of those things. After that, I went on to the Godric fight. Bitch. 
right. There we go. Not too bad. So that is the first remembrance boss dead, which means we unfortunately now have to retire the Banished Knight's Halberd. It was nice knowing you, Banished Knight's Halberd, but I am no longer allowed to use you. Rest in peace. Before I went to take on Rhea Lucaria, I first gathered the Faith Talisman, which I'll use later on in the run when I use faith-based weapons. I pick up the Dexterity Boosting Physic tier, which again, I'll use whenever I'm using a Dexterity-based weapon. I also took out the Crystalline Boss so that I could get access to the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 1 so that I can actually buy stones to upgrade my weapons to plus six. And then I also picked up one Seed and one Sacred tier so that I have nine total charges of the Red Flask at plus five. I need to sit down at this fire, please. Come over here. Thank you. You're... Please! Bitch! Over we go. Grab the Carrion Knight set. Let's go beat the dog's ass. Bang, bang, jump. Thank you. Bop. Bop. Very nice. Nice. Love to see it. Don't you dare clap my cheeks. You stay away from me. Bitch. Rude. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No issues. Okay, issues. Bang. Drink again. Oh, fucking wiener. Bang. Got his ass. Hey, bitch. Time to get smacked up by the Uchi. Okay, let the stamina regen. Get back down here. Nice. Shit, I need to heal. I need to Thy fate lieth under my moon. Shit. I, I needed to heal before I staggered her. Wait, what? You get staggered off the first hit? Really? I thought you tanked one. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Fuck! Oh, my God. This is actually going to be a pain in the ass. Oh boy. This is when it gets to be a real pain in the ass. Because I need this to not get prolonged. Now I went to go gather two sacred tears and two golden seeds from the rest of Lyernia and went back to Round Table Hold to get the third talisman pouch from Enya. Uh, let's go here. Let's pump this up to plus six. I could do plus seven even. You know what? Why not? Oh, bitch. Okay. Gotta heal. Gotta heal, boys. Nice try, buddy. Come here. Ah! Whoop. Charge. E ah! Bang! You fuck, nerd. The next shard bearer we were going after is Radon. The issue is you have to start the festival of Radon before you can actually fight him. One of the ways to do that is by going through Ronnie's quest line a little bit. So, I went to go talk to Ronnie, who told me to go talk to Blythe, who told me to go talk to Solovis, who told me to go talk to Selen, who finally told me to go to the Festival of Radon. Time to go clap Radon's cheeks. That was stupid. This one might require some more level ups, some weapon level ups. Because we're only at plus... 
seven right now. And yeah, we're only at plus seven. So let's go. Let's go get some threes. So we'll just go get this to plus nine. Okay. Let's hope that's enough. Let's go for a heal. Very nice. Very nice. Jump. That's an issue. That's an issue. That's an issue. Ugh. Fuck. All right. Well, we're going to go in with more resources now because we get a more favorable spawn point. Heal, heal. Jump. Nice. Love to see it. One more bleed. Come on. Fuck! Okay, now that, chat, now's your time. What's what's everybody's favorite word? Huh? What is it? What's everybody's favorite word? Come on, let's say it together now. Let's say it together. Greed! That was greed! Bang! Get there! Get there, baby! Start spinning! Start fucking spinning! Chop Leonard's cheeks up, baby! See, that wasn't greed. I've learned my lesson. I'm out, baby! See you later, bitch! Nice try, buddy! Bang! How are you not dead? Please! fucking die the next remembrance i was going after was the regal ancestral spirit for this boss i wanted to use the bloodhound's fang so i went to go gather that weapon from limgrave took it over to eg so that i could upgrade it a little bit then i gathered the golden seed from roderica's shack and finally made my way underground i could see deer being a real bastard healing himself teleporting all around prolonging the fuck out of the fight and i'm just sitting there constantly rotted begging for him to stop running now i suppose for this i'm gonna do this ah! i think that's karma <laughs> oh yeah get yeah get that rock throw in there that'll help jesse I'm killing myself in Nokron. Help me. Jesse, there's a really fucking big moose. <laughs> how, how, how miss? Jesse, my soul just got absorbed by the moose. No, no, Jesse, he's doing it again. He's trying to suck my soul. Get up, get up. Fuck. He's going to try to suck my soul, Jesse. Please. Altus Plateau was next up, and I started by gathering eight golden seeds. I had no idea there was that many in Altus Plateau, but there is. I also picked up two sacred tiers, leading to a 12 charge plus 10 flask. I got the icon shield for a little bit of passive health regen to kind of counteract the rot damage. The smithing stone bell bearing two, so that I could level all of my regular weapons up to plus 12. And I got my next weapon of choice, the Giant Crusher. After that, I had to go make the best build I possibly could to actually use the Giant Crusher. I started by respecking into a Strength build and picking up the Strength tier and the Strength Talisman. 
I also got the Iron Wet Blade for extra strength scaling and the Determination Ash of War for the synergy that it has with the Giant Crusher. The guy opens his door and gets bonked. And you think that of me? I am the one who bonks. I'd take a two shot. I'd be fine with that. There was a ding noise? I didn't determination. Oh, fuck. You know, I think it's fine. I rolled too early, dude. God damn it. Nice. Good. No, I wanted to loot the runes. It's 182 runes. The fuck do I want to loot 182 runes for? Come on. Bang, bitch. You fucking bonked. But now I got to go clap up a gold ghost cheeks. Do you really? Like, actually, do you, do you think this is a good plan? Rolling up on the butt-ass naked chemistry teacher meth cooker with an omega hand. Do you think this is a good idea? Nice try there, buddy. Spin. Bop. Bop. Didn't stand a chance. You fucking bonked. Bop. Okay, that's nice. Uh, now I don't think he's gonna do it anymore is the downside But we still have this move So that's nice Why did I attack? I don't know why I popped that right here. Okay, it's gonna work just fine. Morgat, I'm dying and you aren't giving me any fucking opportunities. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. We're good. Bitch. Yeah, baby. Volcano Manor, here we come. I am. It is time. Give me I will and we're gonna do a noble skip. Nice. Nice. Let's go, bro. Okay. Very nice. There goes the skip. We are past noble. And now we have to get to right guard before I die. Let's do this, bitch. Yeah. It's been so long since I've actually fought this boss. I don't know how to do it anymore. Bitch. And it happens. Thank you. Get the stamina back. Very nice. Gonna roll, gonna heal. All right, that'll do. Oh, please don't do a fast move. Thank you. All right, time to heal. Ooh! No, 
not supposed to do this. Fuck! Oh, you can do a world on Bitch! Go for the heal. Bitch! You fucking snake! Mountaintop of the Giants with the Fire Giant boss fight was up next. The weapon that I'm going to be using for this is the Winged Scythe. This does require a respec into a faith build, and I obviously use all of the faith synergizing items that I've gathered so far. The reason why I wanted to go to Mountaintop right now is because it has the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 3 for plus 18 regular weapons, the Somber Bell Bearing 3 for plus 6 somber weapons, and enough Golden Seeds and Sacred Tears to max out the Flask at 14 charges plus 12. All right. Now we're ready to go fight the fire giant. What does this weapon art do? Ah, that. I see. That was not a lot of damage. That was a very concerning amount of damage. Okay, that's better. Okay, let him swing. Go for the heal. Very nice. Come on, give me that leg. Give me that leg, bitch. Nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, baby. I'll go for the repost. Ooh, that's a fucking bleed proc. Okay. Oh my fucking God. All right, come on. Nice. No, no, fuck. Give me a bleed, please. Just for me. This works. Yes. All right, there we go. At this point, I needed to go kill the Godskin duo, which luckily is not a remembrance boss. So whichever weapon I use to defeat them won't actually be eaten for the rest of the run. This gave me the good idea that I should go get a generalized weapon that I can use for all the challenges that I don't actually need to consume the weapon for. So for that, I decided to go get Morgoth's Cursed Greatsword. I leveled it up to plus nine, and then I also gathered the crafting kit and all of the materials needed to craft sleep pots in order to make Godskin Duo a little bit easier. Physic goes bing. Bang. I think I threw it too far. I think I threw that too short. Oh my God, it worked. Nice. That's what I was hoping to see. Normal R1. Okay, regen. Repost. Charged attack. You gotta be fucking shitting me. How does that not sleep him? R1. Dude, I'm. I'm. I am spamming R1? What do you mean? Why am I not fucking attacking, bro? Hey, fuck you, skinny. Oh, stinky bitch. Fuck the duo. So that means... We now do dragon head which requires another respec. But first, we gotta go kill this boss so that I can actually buy uh, threes and fours. Thank you. <laughs> Homie's just fucking standing there. <laughs> Fuck! Oh! 
You cuck! No, it is time to stagger. You keep your happy ass on the ground, not spinning. Give me my shit. Thank you. Five, six, seven, eight. Now that's enough to level bloody healers. But we don't have bloody healers yet. So we gotta go get bloody healers. And then after bloody healers, we level it. And go kill Placidus X. That's pretty cool. Bloody healers. Oh, maybe it doesn't take a respec. All right, physic. What am I doing? Charged attacks and dex, I think. All right, we go for the heal. Fuck! That's the downside of the drussy. In we go. Okay, now we... I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the drussy, bro. Fuck! I... I might have to actually learn how to... deal with most of his moves. Do the claw, nice. Get me in the drussy. Don't do me like this, bro. Okay, good. That was fucking spooky. I think we're good, though. Give fucked you, big ass dragon. Change this out for strength. I'll, I'll keep the charge attack thing in there. Oh, man. Malekith is really fast paced. That was fucking close. Fuck! Why didn't you do the other animation? Hello? I don't know why I'm running forward. Don't ask me. Okay. I should heal. I did roll. Are you serious? Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Come on. Get your stinky ass up. Go for the heal. Good. We're looking clean. Bang. Come on. Flippies. Yeah, bitch. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to go do is get our next weapon which is the Venomous Claw. Across we go. There's a cave. All right. Yep, never seen this cave before in my life. It's a Scarlet Rot Cave. Ah, uh, little does the game know. I've come prepared. Can I climb this? All right, I can climb this. All right, there we go. The next remembrance that I wanted to go after was Lich Dragon Fortisax. To get to him, I decided to go through the Landell sewers. If you didn't know, you can go down, kill Moog the Omen, then go behind the little chapel thing, down the pit towards the Three Fingers, and then there's an illusory wall that actually leads you into Deep Root Depths. Excuse you.
Okay, hello. Ooh! <laughs> Can you stop? Oh! Huh? Huh? What? My double fist went right through her fucking face? What do you mean that doesn't hit? Like, where else was I hitting? I'm in. Bang. I'm in. Bang. That's right, you fucking simps. Wait, have I gotten the death rune yet? Okay, we got this. Gotta give it to Ronnie. All right, give me a second for you. I'll be right back. Okay, please hug me. Hug me. Oh, oh. Oh, let's go! I'm not dying, bitch! Okay. Let that go. Very good. I back up. Oh, I get zapped. Very nice. Fuck! Fuck, bro! Fuck, 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 fuck! Okay, we're good. Yeah, bitch! We are on to the next weapon, which is... The Jar Cannon. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm really not sure it's a smart idea to use the shield on Elden Beast instead of Estelle. I feel like I should use the shield on Estelle. Oh no, the Lake of Rot. How am I gonna cross it? Ah. Okay, we're good. Oh, that was further back than I expected. All right. I'm backing out. I'm going back in. Ah! No, let me hit the head, bro. What are we doing? Make a choice. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck the anal bead, bro. What item were we using for Horalu? Scorpion stinger, I think? Yeah, stinger for Horalu. Fuck. My fellow. <laughs> so yeah, doesn't stagger him. Maybe I go get some blue flasks and just use the L2 on this. I feel like I wouldn't hate that. Like that does not seem bad at all. Yeah, this actually seems really good. I just need some blue flasks, assuming I don't kill him here. Okay, that works. Okay, double R2 does not have the time. I was watching the health bar. I was trying to figure out how the hell I was going to heal in time. I'm so bad. Ah, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> I 
So he gave him rot. That's good. Couldn't tell you why I went for a jump attack there. <laughs> I want to be vaguely close to full health going into phase two. That's the goal. I think we're good. All right. How many times did I die? Full blade for Moog, which is what we're off to go do now. We got to go kill Anastasia. See you later, Anastasia. Nice knowing you. Okay. Thank you. Very kind. Give me. Okay. So that is all the big smithing stones that I need. Everything fully gathered. Two eighty-eight. That doesn't seem great. Dude, stop with the showers. You gotta be fucking shitting me, dude. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This is doing way worse than I expected. Part of Eleonora does fire damp. Does it? Oh my God, it does. Okay. We can use the pole blade on Melania then and use a different whip on Moog. That's how we can fix this. I can do that if I want. I think that makes sense. Wait. Oh, don't fuck it. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, okay. I, I guess we can go do Melania first. All right, Loretta. Don't. Oh, my fuck. What? Is that how that animation always looks? Yo, that seemed fast as hell. Whew. That was wildly lucky. Fuck. Heal. Back roll. Jump attack. Is she immune to bleed? That's what a charged heavy looks like? On a twin blade? That's wild. Fuck! Oh my god. Okay, she started fucking us. Fuck! Okay, guess I'm not punishing that. Because I can get kicked all right hold on hold on let's go get let's go get uh the jump chest piece that's pretty good i'll take 613 good come on right there There it is. Fuck you, Loretta. You piece of shit. So let's go. Let's go put that on, I guess. I'm not going to do charged attacks. So we could do huh, fire scorpion charm. Let's go see how it goes. Why did I back dodge, dude? 
fuck. Heal. Fuck! We're gonna need help. Looks better. I started getting greedy with it a little bit because the pace just isn't high enough. Thank you. I shouldn't have gone for two. I meant to do, but it's all right. How was I in range? Okay, let's go get this tier. That'll help. Thank you. And this, I think, should be doing more damage. Yes. Bro, you fucking sauced, you stinky bitch. Fuck me, that was stressful. All right, bro, let's do it. Yeah, that's not great damage. It's a pretty decent bleed buildup, though. Well, I guess he's pretty weak to bleed. Are you serious? Are you serious? It, it, it is really a pain in the ass to get healing windows against Moog. Two weapons.
the broadsword and the jar kit. <laughs> Gotta go buy the broadsword right quick. Let's just go buy 20 uh, regular great bolts. We need 20 of them. What? Don't give me that. <gasps> okay, okay. Getting a bit too aggressive there. Fuck! Penis! Beautiful. Okay, yeah, this weapon sucks. <laughs> All right, we'll just beat the game with the broadsword then. No, start fucking running. Come here, I gotta stagger you. Thank you. Oh, I didn't want to go for that right now. Please stop running from me, if you wouldn't mind. Oh boy. Oh, this is such an awful combo. Gotta heal. <laughs> oh my God, that was so unlucky. Jesus. Still got through it though. Don't run from me. We have business. You running bitch. Look at that, baby. Love to see it. That is Elden Ring. All remembrances. Rot always active using a different weapon for every single remembrance. Now it's time to get butt ass naked and sit on my throne. Let's go. Woo. I am now literally God, Jesse. The DEA can't stop us. I make the laws now, Jesse. <laughs>